This is Elijah Jordan Brown Garcia, a 12 year old from New Jersey who collapsed doing football practice this week and didn't get back up. He had so much further to go. He had so much more time. He was supposed to be here. The coaches and parents didn't know CPR. Several people called 911. When first responders arrived 30 minutes later, it was too late. Elijah had died. The family of the sixth grader is now urging all youth sports coaches to be trained in CPR. And we have reached out to Spokane Public Schools to see what's required in our local district. And how we can play a part in preventing similar tragedies. For your safety tonight, Emily Bloom has that story. During any time, uh, of the day in Spokane, we usually run one, two, five, ten cardiac arrests in our system. Fire Chief Brian Schaefer knows best how we can all play a part in saving lives throughout our community. The sole focus on keeping your your brain and your heart um, perfused and alive until we can get there. Spokane Public Schools tells us all of their coaches are required to have CPR training through Washington Interscholastic Activities Association. We don't use mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathing anymore. It has become so simple and it's based on evidence and science that compression at 100 times a minute on an adult directly uh, on top of their chest. Beyond that, it's a legislative requirement that all students graduating from high school have CPR training under their belt. We've seen it happen multiple times on the football field in the past several weeks. If you find yourself in a similar situation, you're going to want to give the person a good shake and shout. If they don't respond, have somebody call 911 right away and then start compressions. Interlock your fingers, keep your arms straight. You're going to go two inches deep to the beat of staying alive can truly be the difference between somebody surviving and being neurologically intact to somebody not surviving or not being neurologically intact. To take it a step further, we all have access to something called the Pulse Point app. It looks like this. We are focusing on with this project and have been focusing for several years on the people that are closest to that patient, alerting them of a CPR situation nearby and encouraging them to respond. You can get notified of cardiac arrest situations nearby, and all first responders get those notifications on their phones as well. That app also providing information on all the surrounding AEDs in our community. For more information on that life-saving technique, head over to KXLY.com. Reporting in Spokane, Emily Bloom, 4 News Now.